Yes, guys, welcome back to the Isle of Cess podcast, season four. Um, we've got the man of X5 in the building, X5 know, bro. Dubs. How you doing, bro? How you doing? You good? I'm good, I'm good. This has been pending. Do you know what? Yeah, we've done one. <laughs> we've done one. No, I swear we've done one like two years ago, silently. Yeah, we've done one, but um, um, yeah. it just was, it wasn't, it wasn't the right one, bro. You say you weren't it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Obviously, I just started off anyway. Yeah, but you know what? It, it was a studio in Birmingham. It yeah, didn't look man. the part, and then I was just like, nah, 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 yeah. And to be honest, my mindset wasn't in the right place yeah, at that time. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that we've we've got Come to do back it. again. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, yeah. um, to be fair, it's been me because every time I reach out about this day, this day, this day, mm. this day. So uh, if I was you, I'd be frustrated. You're thinking this guy is serious. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but you know, it's I thought to myself, no, nah, like. At least every time I thought of coming there again, I've always yeah, thought it's always yeah. gonna be you or whatever, whatever. Yeah. So I thought, oh, obviously I saw the booking. I mm. thought, no, nah, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. You know what I'm trying to say? 100%. But blessings, though, blessings, blessings, and blessings. How's everything doing? How's everything doing? Everything's been all right, you know. I can't really complain. Bookings are flying through as usual. Um, it's getting back on my production. Uh, can't complain, man. It's mm. blessed. It's, I'm, I'm happy to still be here after how many years. Yeah. And uh, obviously not being a Londoner, you know, how it's hard. Different, yeah, and, different uh, than yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I've see, been blessed though. I, no, I can't I see, even I see, I see everything coming through, names on everything, still mm. still getting their look in from up north, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. A Midlands up north? Midlands. Midlands, Midlands yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, different up there. Mm. Been up there a couple of times. It's um, a nice vibe in Midlands. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. definitely. That's, that's, my, that's my second home. Mm. Well, Birmingham side anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I'm about... Probably about 35 minutes, 40 minutes away oh, so from So you still good drive from there? So yeah, yeah, I've got to drive like 35 minutes before I reach Birmingham. Into Birmingham anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. 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 you come straight from there, isn't it? Mm. Literally just now as well, mm. isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. three and a bit hours to get, yeah. Yeah, task. I'm used to it though. It lasts what, 11, 12 years. That's what I've been doing. So back and forth, London, and I'll go Leeds, Liverpool. I think I'm, I'm one of not many who get to explore the whole of the UK for bookings. Luckily, from like our era, so yeah, like I said, I feel blessed to be able to do that. Yeah, so how long have we been doing for then? Boy, just about 24 years now. I'm saying that's a very, very stretch. long time, that's and that's kind of like consistently as well. I've like consistently been booked. I've had like, I think the biggest gap I've had of, of nothing was probably about six months. Okay. That's, that's in 24 years, so yeah, it's uh, you've been going on, isn't it? Going yeah, so, you've seen you must have seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen so many come and go, I've seen so many change into different types of music. Um, seen the crowds get older, like people who, who first were going out when I was first started, they're like granddads and yeah, <laughs> grandmas and everything now, like their children's children are listening to me, so. Everyone can say, oh, X5 dubs, though. You don't know yeah, X5 dubs. Is that what you was around? Yeah, yeah. Is, that a, is that a different yeah, yeah, guy? Yeah, like, yeah, nice, yeah. the same guy. So, yeah, um, as as I keep saying, I'm just like blessed and just humbled to still be on this, man. Definitely. That's good, man. Do you know what mm. I mean? Um, like you said, there's, like we said, there's a lot of people coming through as well. Do you know what I mean? So, it's yeah. like, it's good to still have the foundational yeah. kind of thing going mm. on still. Do you know what I'm trying to say? 100%. Man. Um, there's way more DJs now anyway. One thing I've noticed, it's way so more. So many DJs um, now. I think it's very hard to stand out now, do you know what I mean? Um, I think you've got, a, you cemented yourself anyway. So mm. I feel like, especially when you cement yourself, you would always get a look in. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're yeah. different, so you're going to get a look in. I mm -hmm. think that's what even the key, being different. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's that's what's kept me going is the fact that I've stuck to my style. Um, when lots of people change styles, um, I was the, I was one of, the, one of the, the few to really stick to what I knew. Um, kept pushing that Midland sound that I created. I know it was at everybody's cup of tea, but it's really Someone's turned around. Do it. Yeah, so, do someone it. had to do it. Someone had to be the pioneer. And if you're going to kick down doors, you need to come with something different. There's no point in me coming from all the way from the Midlands into London and trying to emulate what the Londoners have been doing for years because they've been doing it perfectly well. So I had to come with something different, something niche, something to, to capture the eyes of the crowd and think, what the hell is this? And yeah. luckily I was able to do that. And... Uh, that's what I continued doing all the way through the, the house career and it's worked for me. I can't complain. Yeah, so even though even you produce as well. Yeah, produce as well. So you got a lot of that guy. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think that's a bonus as well as a mm. for a DJ, you know. Yeah. You produce as well, do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Because yeah. regardless, you still got content going out. Mm. Even if it's it's the, they're not seeing you physically DJing, yeah. but you still got your sounds going out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, one thing I think about DJ uh producers is that they're underrated really. Do you reckon? Yeah, they're underrated. They're underrated. Because you know what? There's lots of DJs out there who don't produce and people don't really understand. They're just playing other people's tunes. 
when you're a DJ producer and you go in there, you're playing your own tunes. That's that's something that's just totally different. I didn't forget, I didn't you look know what I mean? Like that. Yeah. It's totally different. So that's a different kind of love you need to show there. Different kind of love. I, I I'll go and play a set, and every other track is one of my own tracks. Whereas you can have a big DJ, one of the biggest DJs, getting props for playing your music. Yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't think, you know what, yeah, I didn't think about that, that when you're, you're playing your own sound, mm-hmm. so it's different energy when you're playing yeah, your own sound yeah. as well. Yeah, and I mean playing bangers, like, I mean, known tunes, anthems, it's like, people aren't looking at it like, if I go and play in a rave and I play the old Drunk in Love remixes, which has been an anthem, and I play like, things like Just Don't Know, Baby, these are anthems that people grew up knew in, you know, you know what I mean? Like, all the youngers now know about that. Yeah. Like, that's different, you know what I mean? When I play it and I rewind it, that's different, because that's, that's something that I made. Whereas if you're just a normal DJ and you're playing the Beatport 100 or whatever and you pull up something, yeah, you've just pulled it, but it doesn't really mean anything to you. Yeah, of course. You understand course, what I mean? Of course, of course. So you've been doing producing like from the jump. As soon as you started DJing, <coughs> you just start making sounds as well? No, nah, I started DJing first and then um, I just took my hand to producing. I think that was in um, 2006, I think it was. I just wanted to learn how to make music and I started on like baseline music <coughs> and luckily the. It was like the third track that I made, um, I put out on a record label. Um, I think it was more to the floor, Rossi B and Luca. I don't know if you heard of those, they're from London actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their label. And it went to number one in the BBC One Extra Charts. So kind of that's what propelled me into like yeah, everyone knowing who I was. Um, but that was like more Midlands and up north. So yeah, I really smashed it there. So I was met, able to work with people like Jamie Duggan, T2, DJ Q, all those type okay, of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, it was, it was, it was a really good time. Um, but them times I was like an R and B DJ. Okay, yeah, obviously there's always transitions. There's always transitions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was doing um, like I was doing like um, R and B and garage music. I was doing really well at it, and then I just thought, yo, let me just try some productions. I done that and I just absolutely blew up in it. So I had to leave the R and B in the garage and went into bassline and never looked back. Really, everything just took off. Even the bassline, Jane. I see you. I see you quite a lot of bassline as well. Mm, yeah, I do. But still yeah, do bookings. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah, get booked for bassline yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, thinking that yeah, as well. Yeah. I was thinking that's good though. First yeah, time, yeah, definitely. I mean? just, definitely. Mm. I t- it took me long to get into. I don't listen to it, but it took me long to understand it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. But it sounds, it sounds. And if you're playing good music, man. Do yeah, know what I mean? definitely, definitely. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's just nice to know you've had that type of impact where you're not forgotten. You yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Of course. Because the bassline thing we're talking. Well, must be like 19 years, if not longer than that. And they forgot me and they still booked me even though I'm doing the house thing. And um, yeah, it's just nice to be able to do a baseline booking then jump on the motorway and you're going to do a house booking. Do a house booking, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of unheard of. There's not a lot of people that are doing yeah, that. Yeah, could do that in a minute. Yeah, 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 100%. So I think house... House has always been a thing, but it's just the transition of house has just been crazy. It's always mm. it's always a mad transition. Yeah, always. We, mm. I think for every five years, I reckon yeah. five six years, yeah. it's just like everything just changes. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, probably since Corona, I think I think it's just been in that transition. I think it ain't changed again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless unless uh, unless Amma unless Amma's changed it kind of thing though. Amma piano, I think that's slightly, kinda, yeah, slightly. But, yeah, um, yeah. The, the house thing is it's always going to evolve. It's always going to change. Well, I listened to House from when I was younger, you know what I mean? I'm an 80s baby. Yeah. So House was House was in the charts, it was everywhere. Yeah, I was yeah, going yeah, to the course, junior discos when I was in primary school, just playing house music. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's what we was dancing to. So I grew up like listening to all that type of stuff from Prodigy and all those those kind of trancey type sounds. Um it was really hard and bass driven. So that's kind of what put me in the well, era right, yeah. in, the, in, in the era where I am now, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to relive that and show the youngers this is where it was and this we can put it together like this and move forward. So yeah, it's nice to hear a lot of the youngers now who are producing, kind of emulating them same sounds that I brought to the table back in 2012. Which is a good thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely, because you can kind of say, oh, that's like my sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah know, no, I, it is I, what it is. I, it is I what it is. To that. You get, I help to I do pull this. it through. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. like, just take it over now. 100%. You sit 100%. back and watch it. If you, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I remember, like, I was talking to Aaron Verone, um, and he yeah, was like, big nah, DJ. nah, you can't come with them sounds. This is like when we was first <laughs> getting yes, into it. Nah, you got you got to make it sound like the London sound. And he was his track sounded like the London sound. And I was like, nah, forget that. Yeah, I'm doing my own thing. Forget yeah, that. because when I first came into it, it was mainly audio rehab sounds, and um, 
don't get me wrong, I love audio repad, but I've got a track released on the label, but I found it boring. It was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, don't, hey, be careful, you know. But, but <laughs> that, that, that was way back then, it's changed now, it? but it was always like that, boom, boom, that, that. Dum, 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 dum. And I was like, yo, this is boring. Yeah, now I'm changing but I, obviously, I was coming from a bass line where yeah, you've you got so more, yeah, note, yeah, yeah. So you got more notes in it. And I was just thinking, there's too much space in this track. I was sitting there listening to it. And I was putting my own little notes in my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when, that's why when I made Drunk in Love and that, it was just comes like with something really hard and put more notes in there. It was just like, boom, 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 boom. And just, I don't know, I just wanted it to be a bit more hard. Took it away oh, from the four beat, to the floor yeah. drum beat and I changed the drum beat. And yeah, he just tried to make something that was dirty, but with like a nice little friendly vocal just to kind of, you know, dilute it out a bit. And it, luckily it worked. It worked, so, yeah, 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 it definitely yeah. worked. But I've got to give a big shout out to Lance Morgan for that because Lance really pushed that tune, you get me? I mean, he was the first person I gave it to. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So and, he, and, yeah, he put it out, he was pumping yeah, it Yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I gave him two tunes previous to that. A tune called Something Good and another one called Making Love, which was a garage remix. And Making Love blew up through Lance as well. And then I gave him Drunky Love and it blew up as well. So yeah, if it wasn't for Lance, it would have been harder for me to pass someone the tracks that would have listened okay. to me and said, yeah, yeah, yeah let, yeah, let me yeah. try this. Because at, at that time, Lance was kind of the only one who was coming up to the Midlands. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 of course. So people only really knew about Lance Morgan and Mark Radford in the Midlands when there's calling out names. Uh, if you knew about Carlos Aries as well. Yeah, of course, of um, course. So yeah, so I think that's why Lance grabbed it because he knew he was a Midlands guy. He yeah, knew yeah, he yeah, had a few sense. bookings up there. It makes sense, So yeah. he thought, yo, let me just, you get me? Yeah, yeah, just mix and it, up. And it worked, worked for him and it worked for me. So yeah, thank you Lance for that. I yeah, yeah, it. yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and you're allowed to give people their flowers. That's no, where people I struggle. I always will, I always will. A lot of people forget what I do for them, but I don't forget what people do yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's a good, that's good, that's good. 100%. That's good, mm -hmm. that's how you should be, man. Because yeah, I think. Yeah. Lot of, I think in this DJ world, man, it's just like, it's not even. Mm -hmm. right, man, yeah, I mean, yeah. everyone just needs to just. Everyone's in, well, a lot of people try to be in competition with everyone, but that's one thing that I don't do. I try to be in competition with myself. Yeah, and exactly that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I just think, I don't think, uh, it's, uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish it could change. I wish we all mm. could push each other, but it's yeah. just, I think it's just natural in the air that it's just, everyone's just want to be better than everyone mm. else. You know what I'm trying to say? I've, I've, I've never wanted to be the best. This is one thing that I've never wanted to do. And I think, a lot of people who know me and know me in the music would say, yeah, I can tell that you never wanted to be the best because you're too laid back. You know what I mean? You, know, you look at your social media profiles, you're not really trying to throw it out, anything else yeah, out there yeah, other than definitely, music. You're definitely just I'm not one of these easy. people, I don't really throw like all oh, cars on there, money rare, tear, tear, I'll show what I'm doing or what I'm about. I just put my music on there, you get me? I've got one picture of my girl because I got forced to put it on there. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Bro, if I never got forced to dash it on there, it wouldn't be on there. You yeah, need to like, yeah, and like yeah, a private yeah, life, man. Private yeah. life's good, facts, man. Facts, it's listen, good, man. I realised that mm. we, like, obviously not in general, I knew, yeah. but I think since I started this journey, yeah, obviously the first year, two, obviously mm. I had to be out there. Yeah. I slowed down the last, probably, Five, six months, mm. I realized, fucking hell, it's peaceful. Yeah, yeah. That's what I love. I it's love peaceful. Peace. Love like, peace. It's proper peaceful. Trust me, bro, man. That's what I'm all about. I'm a big man Shit. now, and it's like, I don't really want all that. Well, no mm. bother, you get me? So, yeah, I'd keep it strictly to the music. Like I said, I got a picture of my girl. I don't really put my kids or nothing on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. just keep everything nice and peaceful. And no, I respect that. Life stays in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's easy to just to go off track. Yeah. Very easy to get. Yeah caught cool or brought into other people's like yeah and you start being no mm. like, oh, trust me man i could go into it yeah. but it's it just made me realize mm. you know what sometimes you just you just need to chill out mm. just do what you're supposed to do yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're here for and 100%. go about your business well i always explain like x5 dubs is the brand you know what i mean x5 dubs isn't the dad x5 boy, dubs isn't the boyfriend it's, it's, you got to separate them you know what i mean it has to be kept separate some people stay in their persona totally all the time do you not me? very true all the time. It's like they forget who they really are. Very true. But yeah, I think yeah. some people's only got this. You know, I think they're not like us where we've got mm. like, you know what I mean? I think some people literally mm. only got this. Yeah. This is their like, so that's why I think most of the time they're just switched on in that mm. persona like, mm. you know what I'm trying to say? But it is what it is anyway, really. Each, that's, to, the, that's, each that's, to their own. That's the way I always look at it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not always going to understand someone else's mindset. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. I just always try to make sure I understand my own. And yeah, it's always about, it's always about, respectfully, it's always about self, isn't it? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's yeah. mentally as well, do you know what I mean? 100%. How things are going on as well. So yeah. you get me, you just got to be on top of it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But um, I want to ask you about the Midlands though. 
Like, what's the mm. ha- what's the house scene like? <laughs> um, it's, I speak to I speak to a lot of DJs yeah. it, first and foremost, and then we go into that that avenue first, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Um, couple frustrated, you know, as always. Mm. Um, I want to actually I want to ask you like, do you see people who you see like DJs who get frustrated and um, always think not always think but they think they should be on there and that and that. Mm. Do you think that that is just self like? So you see, like, say for example, if if I'm sitting, I'm thinking, how am I not on that? How am I not on that? Mm. How am I not on that? Mm. Is that is it because I'm just not good enough? Would you look at it like that? Because I think there's there's a lot of couple DJs I've spoken to, and they just they're very frustrated mm. because they're not put on stuff. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so like, some of them are like, oh yeah, certain like. There's only Midland DJs who like, it's only a certain set. You know how it goes, it's a yeah, click. Yeah, there's only a certain yeah. set of DJs. How comes all of us don't get put on I some- don't know, because in, in the Midlands, I don't really get much of a shout. And I think it's because they don't they know that I don't really like playing in the Midlands <laughs> too yeah, much, yeah. if I'm honest. Um, I've had people come up to me and say, oh, how come you don't play in the Midlands more? How come you're not on like um, GT stuff? Because you're from the Midlands. Yeah, and of course, of course. GT's a big DJ. You're probably one of the next biggest ones there. And, during lockdown, your track was one of the, the tracks that was popping on his show all the time and he was really rewinding it up. I said, yo, leave GT to do GT's thing. GT's, yeah, like everyone I don't does. look at GT as house anyway. GT's like a multi on a DJ. Leave him to do his thing. I haven't got to be on everything. Yeah, right? of course. And furthermore, I don't want to be on everything. You know what I mean? There's only selected things that I want to be on where I can meet the criteria. Because sometimes you can go to a rave and you're not meeting the criteria and you embarrass yourself. You know what I mean? Or you weren't prepared for it. Yeah. That's why I like to do what I know I'm doing. What if you doing, understand yeah, what yeah, I mean. Of course. I don't want to I don't want to be everywhere. You know what I mean? There's, there's selected um events that I really enjoy doing. You know what I mean? I know that's because yeah, that's me. That's that's the niche. That's, that's what yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That, it might be an age thing now, and it might be because I've been in, involved for so long. If I was younger and I just started out, obviously I want to be yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Everything, yeah. But I've yeah, done the circuit so many times. There's some events now, I look at it and I just go, uh, they're doing really good, but I don't think I'd want them in there yeah. because I don't want to play that fluffy stuff. I want to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get dirty. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. facts, facts. Yeah. No, it's just not even just, because it's like some people just reach out like, oh, like, oh, like, I want to talk. We should have a conversation, whatever, whatever. Mm. But I'm like, okay, cool. We may not think, like, cool, like, mm. all right, well, what's up? I yeah. could just tell from like, the first line or whatever mm. you're saying that, yeah, you're just, you, you're just angry. You're yeah, just angry. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of angry mm. DJs out here. There's but you know what? Loads. There, is, there is a lot of good DJs who deserve a lock-in, but that's just part of life. You know what I mean? We can all go to the job interview. We, we've all been interviewed. We all can do the job, but there's just, there's a man who's going to get picked out or a lady who's going to get picked out at the end of it. And that's just life. That's how life goes. You can't play everywhere. So when some people do moan at me and say, oh, oh why should we be playing here? Why don't I get a look in? I'm just like, bro, it'll be your time soon, man. Just keep pushing forward and they'll recognize you. They're going to come back to you. They'll come back to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's, that's just how it works. There's been people who've never booked me before for house and then all of a sudden they start yeah, booking me. You know what I mean? So sometimes you just got to be patient. But do you think sometimes it's just the people you're around as well? It could be possibly your crowd, possibly mm. maybe you have to change your sound, possibly. Because I'm saying that to the, I'm saying that to a couple of people. Mm. Like, you might have to change <clears throat> your whole settings. I think sometimes... They, they would look at that individual and just think, well, we've already got somebody on the fly that kind of does what they do. Anyway, of yeah, course. Or kind of plays the same sound as what they play. So what's the point? I've already got this person. I know what they're about. I know what they're going to deliver. I could be taking a gamble. We putting this person on because I don't really know what they're going to deliver type thing. So that's what I mean. It's all about being different to everybody else. Like when I get booked, promoters know what time to book me. They know what I'm going to do. They know I can be that party starter. I'm always booked in between one and three o'clock. Yeah, you did say, you did <laughs> yeah, say, yeah. you did say. You That's did say, my time yeah. there. It's always that time there because they know I'm not this kind of person who's going to come in there and just try and throw loads of bangers to prove, oh, I've got pure exclusives. I want to look at the crowd. If it's not working, I'm going to play through those bait tunes because I want to get everybody on the yeah, dance yeah, floor. Yeah, of course. That's you know what I mean? Enough. There's some DJs that won't do that at all because they think, nah, I don't play that kind of tunes. It's not exclusives or I'm not like that. You know what I mean? So I'll play the tunes to get everyone up and dancing and then I'll play a few of my own that yeah, no one else ain't got. Yeah, yeah, so they're yeah, still exclusives, but it's exclusives of, of course, my own. To yourself, yeah. And then it just goes off. So the promoters have, have realized now that that's my place. You understand me? Like if you book EZ, you know what he's about. You know what you're going to get. And I think with X5 dubs, not just the promoters, but the crowd already know what to expect. They know those tunes that they're going to hear that I play every set. I play those little golden oldies that 
no one else don't play. play yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Until the youngers came around and yeah, started listening started to my sets. So <laughs> <laughs> started listening to my sets and started flinging yeah, those one and yeah, twos in yeah, there. But yeah. you get me? I, I see that as a positive. As a positive. Yeah, of course. Obviously, mm. man of your caliber, you've been DJing for a minute. You, they're going to take tips. If, if, if all these new DJs coming through saying they're not taking tips mm. from certain DJs, yeah, 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 found yeah. foundational, yeah. then mm. they're lying. But that's, that's what it's about, though, isn't it? It's about inspiring everybody else. And we've all done it. We've all listened to a set, heard a couple of tracks and thought, yeah, I need those. You know I mean? Shazam, no more, whatever we're yeah, doing there. Yeah, add yeah. it to your set. But um, yeah, man, it's, I see it as a, as a blessing. You know what I mean? If they do that, you know, it means I'm on the right path from doing yeah, something 100%. right. Yeah, 100%. Mm. You leave a legacy. You try to leave a legacy. Do you know what I mean? Like, 100%, man. That's, I thought that was the key. That <laughs> mean? <laughs> <laughs> that mean? Trying to do a legacy out here. But no, um, a lot of good feedback about you, though. Like, even in general, just mm. like music, everything. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Obviously, I don't know about you from time, but you know when people start, yeah, like saying, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I started like freaking, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I've kind of like I know we've had a little minute where we ain't spoke, but you know, like you've always, mm. I've always thought like we're gonna, we're gonna have to it's, chop it's it up. Gonna have to do yeah, it yeah, we're gonna have mm -hmm. to chop it up. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, I feel like it made sense anyway because sometimes it's not about just throwing stuff out there for yeah. people just to look at as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's it's, it's deeper than that, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, even environment-wise, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It changes your whole mindset yeah. as well when you're speaking to somebody. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm happy you're here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I appreciate, no, definitely I appreciate you, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, um, let's give respect when it's due, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? Um, so yeah, you're playing tonight as well. Yeah. You get me? You gotta prep yourself for that generation tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, bees off tonight. It's, uh, I think I play for him about, three times yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I need to say respect to him. Yeah, yeah. And his promotion. Dude. He's one of the youngest that are really coming through. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. Changing the whole game. Changing it. Changing yeah, and, it. and you know what? It's him and halves and that. Yeah. I found a couple of my old tracks and started banging them again and like, people started hollering me saying, oh, have you got this tune? Like, I didn't even have the tune. Like, um, it was mine, but I didn't even have it. That's how old the tune is. And then man, I started banging it in the set again. So they kind of brought that sound alive. But, yeah. Got people like Dean Allen and all that. Yeah, coming yeah, with that, yeah. Coming with been... that dirty dark sound that, you know what I mean? I kind of started with. Um, <laughs> you threw that out there, nah, nah, boy. Nah, 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 nah. You know what it is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real because you know I don't think some people really understand where. Yeah, where, 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 it is. where it's coming and, and from. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they are emulating or whatever, but I'm just saying there was a point where that wasn't happening back in that time when I first started out. So I had to make it like that. You know what I mean? I've, I've chatted to people like uh, Mike White and that. And in, Mike White's a sick producer. Yeah, because they, yeah, they push, they, them not are pushing that Yeah, sound I don't strong. think he gets enough uh, props, you get me? But Mike White will sit here and tell your hand on heart. He goes, yo, use the guy that made me start producing. Yeah. When I heard your tunes, I was like, I need to do you that. You just start doing it, yeah. Yeah. And now he's he's perfected it and made it even better. Yeah. You get me? Every set you'll hear Mike White tune in there. You know what I mean? I've got certain people I always play. Okay. And I, I, keep, I try to keep it that way. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. at the moment, it's hard to get tunes off people. Like, yeah, is it? Is it? You, I thought you yo, just I thought you just reached out to them, no? Bro, he bro. <laughs> I thought that's how it works. When I talk to some people and they're moaning, oh I don't get no tunes, don't get John tunes, I say to them, yo, I find it hard to get tunes. They're like, nah, don't believe that. I swear to you, I find it hard to get tunes. I don't even know that. Yeah. I find it hard what to get tunes. What do you mean like sometimes. off other producers or off just other like other producers, yeah? I thought, I thought you could just literally just reach out. I know some people sell this, <coughs> sell packs and stuff, mm -hmm. apparently. They sell like a five pack. Nah, like, like um like I message them, I'm like, oh, can you send me some tracks? Bro, sometimes when it, no, when I first ask, put it this way, because I like to ask the people who aren't too known as well. You know what I mean? I first ask, yeah, they send me bare tracks. But let let say like they get like a little bit of noise happening, yeah. Or they get like Jader or someone started playing the tunes. Yo, they're longing out to argue me the tune after that, you get me? It's like mm. Yeah, I don't even know. For yeah, no, do not. To be fair, I've heard I've heard some people saying, "Ah, oh, these DJs, um, this is just powering me, powering me." I'm thinking, mm. no, I thought this was a pack. If I was a producer, <laughs> I'd be sending out packs to everyone. Because yeah, I would think yeah, that yeah. you would want everyone to play to yeah, play your yeah, stuff. Yeah, the care no? package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought <clears> I would send out a five pack. Anyone who wants music, I'll be nah, sending. Nah, th you know what? There's been, as I said, there's been a few new producers, and I've played some of the tracks, and then. They give them out to the other DJs, the big DJs like Jade is a big DJ yeah. now, Halves and all them, the the new generation, new generation, and then like I'd be hollering them later on, and like it's like they're just taking time to send it. Maybe they're just busy. I don't know, but yeah, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. you're quite quick to send it me before, before, but now you're kind of dragging your feet with it. Yeah. So it's come to the point now where I've just got my my circle of people that yeah, I you use. Just keep you just stick keep to them, to that. Yeah, and everything yeah. just flows. Yeah, yeah. People like J Vibes, I think it's from Leicester. 
Um, oh, is he from Leicester? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He's an absolute sick producer, yeah, bro. I've been sick an producer. I didn't know that. No. Yeah, Mike White, like I said before, um, Cali. Manchester. Yeah, Cali, yeah. I got time you know for I mean? him. It's always some Jack and Danny in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I tried to keep it to that underground sound. Like, I'm not bothered about playing all these people overseas on, and whatever who've got like massive hits on, on Beatport. I want to keep it underground. So that's what I tried to do, as long as, the, as well as the Golden Oldies on my own tracks as well. So, yeah, that's how I keep it there with, with those names. So, yeah, I'm just seeing everyone else doing the same now. And I think it's a good thing because yeah, it pushes 100%. it forward. It makes that small producer have. The, the the ability to kind of get into the DJing and kind of their name to grow and move on to bigger things. So It's true though, it's yeah. true. Because if we don't push some, who is going to push yeah, some? Yeah, 100%. Because most people are turning their back on that sound now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sound, that's 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 the sound I grew up on anyway. Mm. That dark, deep, that. Mm. Mm. Bro, it was going places and then. I think it's still there, it's still there. It's just, just too much. It's just, it's just too much going on though at the minute now. Nah, just, probably. It, when it was first blowing and people switched, that's what killed it off, I think. Mm. I think, it, I think, yeah. Because mm. like have, La Lance and everyone was playing that sound and then they just stopped. They just stopped. But I, want, well, yeah, I think everyone tried to go over to, try to keep, go to that clean arm. Mm, the fluffy yeah, sound. Yeah, man. yeah. Mm. <laughs> the the fluffy is, sound. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened <sighs> from, from my perspective. So everyone was playing the hard thing. And Aaron Verone, Aaron gives me a joke, yeah, Leon. Because <laughs> if you meet him out in the street and you're chatting to him, he's the biggest yardie. But if you talk to him in a rave, when it's Aaron Verone, man was the posh dude. Yeah, 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 of yeah, course, course. And he's a good business head, you get me? He's, he's like that. But he um, had a track signed to, I can't remember what it was called, but it was, it was signed to like defected 100 most something tracks. And I think when everyone saw that happen, they thought, we're not gonna make. We're not gonna deal with this dark thing anymore. We want to kind of go in the same that. direction that Aaron's going. Because if Aaron can do it, we can do it. And then it's like everyone dropped tools and just started going over there, where in the direction that Aaron was trying to go, and they just left everything else behind. It just crashed everything else. Mm. It was crazy because but we was on the right path then to actually blow with that sound, but everyone just dropped it. And it was like, wow, what's it going on? To be fair, um, B3 said the same thing. Mm. It did say that. Everyone just tried to just disown it. Yeah, they did. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, Everyone disrespected it. And it, I, I continued it all the way through. And then what happened to everybody else? Their journey ended early. Yeah. He's, he's not, yeah. And that's how I know he's talking facts. He said the same thing you're mm, saying to me now. Mm. He said the same thing. Yeah. He was, he was doing our sounds. Mm. He said, Bear them tried to fuck off. Yeah. Only some got to come back. Mm. He said, Bear them are gone now. Yeah. yeah. So that's definitely a fact. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, real. Man. It's I, a shame. Yeah. But this is why I respect Beezer for them because these men are bringing it back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're bringing it back. They're bringing that They're sound bringing back. back. And we still got good promoters who are still booking. Still pushing. Yeah, DJs yeah, like yeah this still are doing pushing that. It. You know what I mean? So you've got like back-to-back -back sessions. Yeah. They're doing their thing. I was Corey, the rest of the crew, Ashley, pushing it forward. you got Madge, Stephen C. You know what I mean? Even though they've got a real good thing going on with that proper tech sound, they've still got their dedicated yeah, room. Yeah, they've got that for, the, for that sound. Yeah, so I've I really seen respect it, I've seen them it. for that. Yeah. And imagine Stephen always look after me, always give me the booking, sold us back to back. We've got Sidewinder that are doing it up north. They're yeah, pushing so that's that next sound. Week, that? Yes, next week, yeah, yes, yeah, next week yeah. around there. So they're doing that. So them lot always keep me booked, and I really respect that. Um, but yeah, I'll just say hold tight, everyone that's still keeping that sound. House of Silk. Yeah, kind of got, yeah, well. got that going on as well. S will book me when he wants to. When we're <laughs> friends, you know. when we're friends, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, S is S is not he's not easy, but he's not big up to you know S what? every time though. But you know what? Big you got to respect time. him, you know, yeah, because course. he just says it as it is. Yeah, and that's the thing. And I like people like that. That's the thing um, <laughs> where it's like you're not even allowed to. It's like it's mm -hmm. like, and that's where people be like, oh, but yeah. it's just being real. Yeah, like you can't not not be real, and that's where I don't. Yeah. This is one thing I don't really like about this the scene we're in right about now. Yeah. Um being real is an issue. Yeah. Being be expressing yourself is a problem. It is. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's sad personally. Mm -hmm. Um, each to own. Yeah. You know, but um it's it's I feel like being honest just gets everyone straight to the point. We know where we all stand and mm -hmm. we get on with the journey. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um I didn't be, know being honest within reason. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously within yeah, reason. It's the course. best thing to do, but um I just yeah. think it's not fair though. Um I just think it's not fair that maybe you being honest might just fuck up. 
Mm. Sorry for my language. Like things that maybe you being fake will get you. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, man. Obviously, I ain't really had any issues anyway. But I'm just saying from what <laughs> I've seen and what I think. Yeah. I just feel as raw. Like cause most of the people who are vocal, you always hear something. But them vocal people are the real, the realest people. Yeah, they are. They are. But you know what? I think what I've found, you have, you have to know your place to be vocal. And okay, I'll take you that. To know your other place where that. to kind of keep it political but on a certain balance because you can get cancelled so easy these days. It's like, <laughs> Gosh. it's just the times that we're in, unfortunately. Cough wrong, bro. You're done, bro. You're done. <laughs> so that's why I like still having conversations with people like S. I mean, S used to talk on the phone for ages and talk about the scene and he just used to be real and show me different sides so of things. So yeah, yeah. I respected that about him. I think it's, yeah. Obviously, you've been here long enough so you know how to manoeuvre. Mm. And I think that's where a lot of even new DJs go wrong as well. I think yeah. they don't know where to manoeuvre yeah. and how to manoeuvre mm -hmm. and thinking... Sometimes you just not you don't need to be under somebody. I think yeah. that's what I think personally. Mm. You know, sometimes you just build your own journey. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It might it's gonna take longer than others, mm. as we discussed. But you know, you'll get there when it's your time. Yeah, to yeah, get of there. course, it's your time. It's you might, if it's not your time, just keep going. Mm -hmm. I've seen certain people just start with like um, doing raves with like ten people to mm. turn into people. To, no, I've seen certain things like like even Bezo. That's like his. I think that's like his third. He had to rebrand that twice or three mm. times, I think. Yeah. Now look at it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it just shows that, like, the prime example, you just gotta just... Just keep pushing forward. Just keep pushing, do you know yeah. what I mean? But you know, you need to get a rave. What, no rave? Nah. I think, as I was saying to you earlier, I think I'm the only person from back in the day, from, like, 2012 era, who hasn't turned into a promoter. Promote, I've man, you no... produce, you DJ. I promoter? haven't got time. I always say if I'm, if I'm gonna put my energy into something, I have to have time to, to fulfill it properly. Um... And I haven't got the time at the moment. Yeah, I think that I think that's another scale. I work in the day as well. Yeah, yeah, I so know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Um, so yeah, work in the day. I'm a landlord. Um, <laughs> she's got she's got better stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, better stuff. I've got the record label. I put stuff out on. Got to be the best dad and, yeah, and of course, partner. Hundred you know percent. I mean, got to go gym. It's just too much. I think that's. I, I mean, think that's. You don't lot. want too much overload. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm not a man who chases money. Okay, that, I mean, pss, that's a good. I'm all over it. Don't chase money. Nah, don't chase money. It's like time's valuable. Family time's so so valuable. And the older you get, the more you realize that. You know what I mean? I'm kind of I'm a grey back now. One of the older ones. Yeah. One of the older heads. So I really understand how much uh, family time. Yeah. Is really valuable to me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I respect that. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, X Five Dubs. You know, yeah. nah, privilege. <laughs> so privilege. That, so that's why when man is telling me, "Yo, Dubs, five till six, I'm like, nah. <laughs> you say, nah, no chance. Nah, nah. 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 Sometimes just the that's the that's the deep hours though. Sometimes I know, you know? I know, but them times I need to be getting up. My yeah. daughter's waking up. Them times yeah, asking for milk. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I can't leave it to her mum to be doing it yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Are you flying? Are you flying back up straight? Yeah, after straight, flying straight. Every time I do fly back straight, I don't even know how to stay awake. Bro. Oh, how did it? But you know what? To be honest, I don't know how people stay in a hotel. It eats into you next day. You start. Yeah, no, I leave early though. Every time I stay somewhere, I leave early. I leave first thing. Yeah. As soon as I get up, even if it's like five, six, I get up. I'm gone. Nah, yeah, but then. I've got a three hour, four yeah, drive. Yeah, no, of course, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? That's eating into your next day yeah, and you course. start looking at the wage and, and the hours, you don't yeah, no sense. Yeah, yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I even thought <laughs> to people as well. You look at it from a business perspective. Yeah, that doesn't even, it really don't even make sense, does yeah, it? Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah. I've always thought that though. Some yeah. people thinking, but yeah, yeah. Unless, yeah. I would think that you put that money, so you see if they offer you whatever your price is, mm. I would thought you would have just asked them for extra for the hotel. No, oh, no, 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 don't get me wrong. We get paid for the hotel, we get paid for travel get rider etc but what i'm trying to say is i could be when i'm waking up in the hotel i could be waking up in my yard yeah facts. it's eating into my next day Mind that's you. the next day when i could be making some money or doing whatever, yeah, I'm do doing, whatever you do, or yeah. spending family time it's, it's eating time away and then i gotta go to work monday it's like i'm tired by the time i get back yeah, in i haven't spent yeah. time with the family i'm spent time with my partner i haven't had time for myself to get mentally prepared for the next day yeah yeah so now i'd rather go back when I'm still buzzing from playing a good set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you probably just <laughs> yeah, throw yeah. something and start flying up do there you know, anyway, Do you know what? I record most of my sets to like have some feedback and then I just listen to the set twice on the way home and just critique it. And then obviously- Oh, then just touch up again. Improve it for the yeah. next set. Yeah, so I just do yeah, you know about music then, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. even yeah. like, you said that you use the same producers and stuff. Mm. Um, so you don't use like, what's it, sorry, is it Beatport or something? You don't use none of that stuff to find one and One and two tracks, are deep. I don't really like- the sound doesn't match what, what I'm playing. Do. So a lot of the time I have to 
I drop like some bass house tracks in there. Like, so I've got to play something different. You know what I mean? And um, Beatport ain't really a one for me. You know I mean? I've heard that from quite a few people though, yeah. you know? I think it's more like Sam Supplier and that that will play like the, yeah, beat, yeah. the Beatport sound. <laughs> but um, yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, I don't really yeah. play like the Beatport sound. Like Sam's sick. Yeah, no, but he, course, plays, course, he plays course, different course, types of course. venues. He mixes, he's on his own thing, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, I love Sam. He's in his own lane, bro. I love yeah. Sam. You get yeah. me? And he plays like that different type of thing where man can go to Thailand and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> in his own lane. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah, on his yeah, own yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I respect yeah, that. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. I played in Japan and Ireland thing as well. Oh, sick. Yeah, but yeah, oh, that not... must have been sick. Hmm? That must have been sick. It was all right. Yeah, it was yeah. all right. I've, I think when you, where you, you have it in your head that it's gonna be this amazing thing because you're in a different country, but it's just people that enjoy music. So yeah, just yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 same yeah. thing as same See, thing. That's sick. No, you yeah, know yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So like Barcelona, we've done Cyprus. Amsterdam, yeah, various other though, places, the usual, the usual things, man. You must, things, man. You must, you must have done all of these. Yeah, so like I, I flew to Thailand, me and my girl, and we, we spent we spent five days in Thailand. Then we flew over to Japan for the booking, spent four days there, then flew back to Thailand, spent some more time in yeah, Thailand. Thailand yeah. Then I, um, I had to come back a day earlier than her because I had to come down to Ministry of Sound for audio. Hall. I had a booking, yeah, 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 yeah played, yeah. and then went home, then I met her. At yeah, the yeah, airport, yeah, yeah. And picked yeah. her up, so yeah. Was, That's a lot, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, traveling, bro. I'm always traveling. Always doing it. Always doing it. Always doing it. But you got to do busy, it. Busy, busy guy. You got to do it now, innit? Mm. Do you wish up? So do you like, you see like, I know I keep referring back to up there, up yeah. north and stuff as well. Um, you think they're, Do you think they're way behind London? Nah. Oh, no. Not for music or nothing. You think nah, it's just, nah. it's all. It's, up, to, up to the time. But it's because you just don't know, innit? If you don't mm. go up there, you wouldn't know. Yeah, 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 yeah up to the time. When you get to the Midlands, up to the time, you start going past the Midlands, you start going money leads. Slightly, a bit behind. I know Manny's guy. I know Manny kind yeah, of slightly goes a bit behind, but it depends. If you're talking our sound, slightly a bit behind. When you're talking the normal tech sound, now they're up to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They know normal what's going tech sounds yeah, flying yeah, up yeah, there, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 firing up there, proper firing. So they know what's going on. So yeah, um, it's good for the Londoners to come up and see what's going on. Yeah, I think I, t I say that to a lot of people mm. though. You know, the you only know thing I mean I'd that? say to London DJs is when you do come to the Midlands, you do go up north. Stop holding back because I've heard some sets that they played up north and that. It's just different to what they play when they're down south. But well, I think, I think, I think, I think that is the re the reason for that is because they're reading the crowd, mm. and I think maybe they're going off that. Mm. It has to be that. Mm. I think they're in London they're clocking the crowd. That's why they're doing the pumpers. They're probably up there. Maybe, possibly, the mm. crowd's a bit different, so they're just yeah. I think they're underestimating what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you've got you've got producers now and DJs from up north who come down to London on a regular basis. The new ones are coming through, so um. You've got like yin yang. Um, are, they from up, are they from up? Are they from up? Are they from up that way? Yeah, Leeds. didn't know that. Yeah, I well, I've known them for like twenty plus years. Didn't know they that used to be baseline producers. Okay. Actually, put it this way: everyone from up north who's coming through now used to be baseline producers. Okay. Known everyone for ages. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's looking promising for them. It's looking promising for them. Um, and I'm just sitting back and enjoying watching the journey. You know what I mean? So it's good to see that sound from up north coming down into the south. Yeah. So I think the men are down there today, actually. Well, they're down in the, well, where were they at today then? Yeah, they're the same thing as me. I don't, um, I don't understand. No, I'm um, Saf and them, sorry. And they're from, where's Saf from now? I can't remember, I think Saf's from Hoods or Leeds or something like okay, that. Okay, okay. Yeah, mate, but he's part of, um, I think it's MFD, I think they're called. No, I never heard of them. So no. yeah, but they've got, they got some big tunes. To be fair, uh, when, I, when, I, when I look for DJs, I'm kind of, mm. up that side, mm. I mean, I, I got a list. Do you know what I mean? I'm My list is I'm struggling with this list, yeah. bro. Do you know what I mean? That's why I think I need to mm. start going out there more and just going, not to anything, but I need to yeah. start like, because like you said, there's, there must be loads of like mm. talented DJs and producers yeah, coming is, through. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, anytime I speak to people who know about music, really, your name comes up up there. Mm. X5 Dub, GT comes up. Yeah. Jester comes up, I'll be mm. honest. Um, Double Impact comes up. Mm. Um. Double cool. impact to big. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah. doing their they, own they're they, doing their yeah, own they're thing. They got their own thing going on. Yeah, but they're like multi. They're multi gen. They're yeah. multi. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, and Jester and GT work together. So Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah you get what I'm trying to like say. Yeah, so that's, that's just... like Birmingham's got their own little kick Yeah, thing. yeah, so I'm trying to say. They like... don't really they just keep themselves to themselves. Yeah, basically, you get me? Basically. Like, yeah. Um 
Who else oh. come? Who else? That's what I'm saying. Not a lot of people come up. That's yeah. like the f- yeah. f- top, the main five, yeah. six people yeah. every time I speak to people. Yeah. So you got them lot, and then you got like Aaron Verón. Yeah, Ver- um, I mean, sorry, Verón comes up. Verón, he's hard work, but I can't. Listen, I've been trying to get hold of that see, guy. Ver- Verón's Fucking... Verón in it, man. You get me? Oh, just, like, yo, he, mate. Just, he, he just makes me laugh. Man. Be trying to like, get it down there for the longest. He's hard work, bro. Verón's Hollywood, man. Um, yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Like I said, I've heard a lot of good things about him as well. You yeah. know what I mean? He's all right. I heard. <laughs> He's, um, <laughs> no disrespect, Leo. Um, but He's I think, right. yeah, like I said, didn't it? So I just look at it like just, there must be tears then, innit? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just... And there's Cali. Manchester. Yeah, Cali, yeah, Cali. Yeah. You know I to Cali He's, he's Cali another right. underrated one. Like. Yeah, he had, he, had a, he had a moment over there, innit? Yeah. Saying that he's on the quit and that. You yeah. see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, told, I spoke to him about that. I spoke to him? Yeah, time to stop chatting rubbish and fix yeah, up. Yeah, man, I looked at it, I was like, mate. Yeah. Oh, but you know what he it. said? He said that nah, he said he didn't mean it in that way. But it's just like I think he's got perceived in the wrong way. Um, he's just he saying, look, man, I shouldn't be here. I should be way better, bigger, better places than where yeah, I am. But you can't, you can't say that on the thing though, because if yeah, you say, if you say looks, something like that, people look at it. In yeah, the wrong way. definitely. If I'm looking at it from the outside, I thought. I think the best thing to do is just not put it on socials. Just think it in your head and then just keep doing what you're doing because his tracks are a big. Like I will always yeah, play one of his tracks. It's like. Cause it, when he first started, <laughs> I'm just trying to use these because of the interview. Um, he gave me tracks and he gave Lance tracks. That's all that he gave. He gave, um, it was because of me and there was going back to Cali. Lance played going back to Cali and I played because of me. And it was because of me that, well, it was be- yeah, but it was because of me, white, blue. Yeah, because <laughs> everyone kept saying, is that your track? And I was going, nah, it's a guy called Cali. Well, I knew Cali from the baseline scene. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. Baseline well, yeah, he's a well. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I was playing that, playing that. And then I remember I went to Aaron's yard and we wanted to make a tune together. And he goes, yo, you need to stop playing like them producers tracks from up here. And I said, why? And he goes, yo, where was Cali when we was in Baseline? Don't remember him backing you. So are you backing Cali? I said, bro, this is yeah, not Baseline. No, ma, yeah, it's yeah. different there. Yeah. It's not yeah. Baseline, man. He said, oh, if we all work together, things can be big. You know what I mean? We're all Midlands and up North, they're London. We fuse together, we intertwine together, and the thing's are UK, innit? it? Mm. He was like, nah, man, no that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just your tracks, that's all I'm playing. I was like, cool. Didn't really play much of mine. To yeah, he didn't play at all of that <laughs> as well. Didn't play much of mine, you get me? But uh, yeah, he's another one. I'll play his tracks as well. I think he's a good producer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a good producer. I need to start looking out for producers, so I'm kind of- But more like his old stuff. I like, um, I like his- Yeah. Got a nice vibe on his Yeah, yeah. I need to start yeah. looking. I need to start looking more as well, man. Producer wise as well, because mm. it's easy to get overpowered by. There's just so much DJs at, at yeah. the end of the day. It's just, you could get overpowered with mm. other stuff, and like you, you get lost looking for that. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is a, which is a bit of a. I think that's what's really going on on my time at the moment. There's yeah. just so much flooding through. Mm. Yeah, like it's like. You could be, I could be looking at this and all of a sudden I'm on some random mm. this and I'm there and I'm, it's a good yeah, thing because yeah. I'm yeah. looking but mm. like um, I think a lot of people got a long way to go as well. Mm. I think there's a lot of, of people, DJs got a long way to go as yeah, well. You know? yeah. um, some yeah. people want their flowers immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's one thing I kind of don't really agree with. You know what, I'm you know to what say? it is? I think there's like a misconception for some people because the way that they've seen some people blow it's been immediately. So like, for instance, if, seen, if people have seen Jada blow, they're going to think it's easy to blow quickly like that. If they see GT blow, they're going to think it's quick to, quick to blow like that. GT blew in the uh, like pandemic times, yes, didn't he? Yes. And I think J- Jada was around about the same yeah, time as yeah, well. Yeah. So you had quite a lot of DJs who used the social media to their advantage. Yeah. Blew at that time. And I think now everyone's thinking, well, I'm going to do the same thing. It doesn't happen like that. No, like, not at like all. that time won't happen again. You know what I mean? And like it's excellent to see those guys and, and Jade ones, still, yeah, yeah. still yeah, keeping high on the a platform float, and still doing what they're doing. Like Jade is a, an excellent DJ, you know what I mean? She's really good. She's got that natural flow for dancing. She's got that natural flow it's for music. Natural. It's I remember natural. seeing her back in the day before she was a, oh, a, never, a DJ. Okay. Yeah, I remember seeing her in the raves and that. And I used to talk. Yeah, to from her. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so, all natural. All mm, natural. It's natural. You can tell so, what it's been saying. Yeah. I'm saying you can tell when it's just all natural. Yeah, definitely. I knew she was on our bus anyway. From when I was. Spoke to her, I knew yeah. you, just, you just know. Mm, you mm. know what I mean? Um, I ain't really seen nobody who's who's really kept that float, kept the energy and keep flowing, mm. flowing, because she's just, just got, she's just getting better and better yeah, and better. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, she's done well. She's done well. So, yeah. Um, I think the only person that I've seen have more bookings than that in a, in a longer, consistent period, I'd have to say, is 
probably me and Sam supplier. Yeah. But Sam Supply's got the upper hand because he's a promoter, so he can do his own Yeah, bookings. so he does his own bookings, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's all over the gaff, bro. He's everywhere. Fuck it. <laughs> he's a clever guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to get him on as well. It's, um, we speak, though, but mm. it's just, mm. it's just whatever that he's is, isn't cl- it? No, he's a clever guy, but like I said, he works here a bit differently, doesn't he? So Yeah, I think it's just how everybody works mm. as well, isn't it? I'm it saying, is. But you guys know how to work through this and navigate. That's why, mm. not to say it's the upper hand, but... You just don't know, innit? Yeah. What to take yeah. and what not to take and how to go about it and what yeah. conversations to have, mm-hmm. what avenue to go down, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? And I think that's why sometimes like, you DJs need to like, that's why I feel like having an interview sometimes is good so people mm. can understand like what it, what it really takes yeah, yeah, at the yeah. same time as well, mm. you know what I mean? Because it's all about knowledge. Mm. Well, I think for me, because I've had so much music knowledge and experience, it's, it's just felt like it's been easy. Like just before the house thing, I was working with Marcus Nasty, so I was, I was signed to oh, his so label. Already, okay. with we are bass, and was making bass music, so I was already well known for doing that as well. Oh, anyway, yeah, so, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so okay. Marcus brought me down to Rinse, and me and Marcus got on really well and stuff like that. So he really looked after me. He's always he's always promoting new music for like um, new names and everything. So he, he was doing great in what he was doing. So I really appreciate that for Marcus as well. And then I came into the house thing from there, and just kind of kept it consistent because I was consistently booked for many years in house music you know what i mean so yeah i'm coming to the end now oh, i would say of my okay, journey okay, where i'm okay. where i'm kind of winding down um even though i've got about 10 bookings in may but yeah yeah got loads even though i'm still what well, i'm still in that winding down period now if i'm honest about it um yeah so what are you saying what are you saying this is what you just what, are you fall out of love? Are you just thinking, you know what? Oh, no, I, I, I never fall out of love with uh, the music. I'm just getting older now. My hearing ain't as good as it used to be. The traveling, I'm feeling more tired. Yeah, uh, trust. I've got more work to do at work because obviously you move up the tree and yeah, you get more yeah, responsibility. Yeah. And that's the that's the solid bread and butter there that is, that's come through. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, so I'm just like slowing down just a bit. You oh, know what okay, I mean? I've done okay, the circuit. Okay. Yeah, so many times. So for me, I'd literally have to change my style to do the other circuits. So, you know, like how Jade is and uh, K Coleman and them are getting like the Love Juice bookings and all those type of things. I can't go in Love Juice playing what I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, cool mum's going to be like, oh, you'd be like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. shoo, shoo, yeah. shoo. And I'm not, I don't want to change my sound. I enjoy playing how I play. So I think, yeah, depending on what direction the scene goes, I'll make my... My you choice, decision, on yeah. Whether I'm gonna stick around, nah, you put it wet, man. So it's, it's, it's mm. something you like to hang it up, you know. Nah, it's, it's not you even like I hang it up. up. I still do it in my yard, but I'd just be like, yeah, I'm not, just... I can't hit road and keep coming off there. Yeah, yeah. um, and especially for the finances because um, <sighs> just, just promoters what... don't like to pay. <laughs> but that don't make sense though, because mm. uh, we're talking. If, if I call you, like, yeah, what's happening, mm. X5? Mm. Yeah, bang, calm down. How much are you charging me? Cool, mm. sweet. Don't you, don't, I'm guessing, you, first and foremost, <laughs> you should trust the promoter. Yeah. First and foremost. Yeah. Why would you deal with anyone who mm. you know possibly won't pay you? No, no, when I say, so I probably said it wrong. When I say they don't like to pay, I mean, like, when I say to them, oh, the price is going up. They don't like that. Then they take it. Oh, you're not being humble anymore. But it's no, it's 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 inflation. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean. It's a business, and prices are rising. You know what I mean. You can't go buy a loaf of bread and argue because it's a few pence yeah, more than you're going to buy the bread, isn't it? Because you're going to get the bread or not, and that's what it is with me. You know what I mean. So, yeah, it's just been mm. that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. And then another thing as well that's kind of like confused me with the whole thing is that I feel like I've had no consistent sitting within in any hierarchy placements and what do you mean within music so say for instance if there's a flyer and everyone says oh flyers don't mean nothing rare, rare, and they don't mean nothing to me personally but there is a flyer hierarchy yeah i've heard there is i've heard i've heard there i've heard I, I yeah I've heard. if you have to do um alphabetical order there's a flyer hi- hierarchy there's a problem a to z was that yeah the a, to z, the a to z yeah then there's a problem because I think you should be able to really say who you think is up there. Just so what? So so are you are you part of the like okay, cool. So if bro, I book you, bro, book I've you... seen I've seen Jada. I'm not even on about me. I've seen Jada. Her name down the bottom or she gets her early slot. That shouldn't be happening. 
at all. She smashed it for so long. Her name should be near the top because most people come in to see her. So why is her name near the bottom? I don't why, know. why has she got the first set? I don't really, I don't really, I don't really, um... we can't keep having, no disrespect, bro. we can't keep having Mark at the top. I'm yeah, sorry, okay, if you got Mark and you got Jada, right now Jada needs to be above that. But that's Even just if Jada was above my name, I'm saying right now. Z, that's just That's just, I mean, so that's just, that's just, that's just name though. What, so you, or if you, so if you're not at the top and you like, what, you, you would be like, no, look, you got to change that. Nah, if you feel I, I, like, I wouldn't say that. I look at it and I just think, Psh, I'm getting paid. I wouldn't. I don't really. I don't really. Yeah, man. I don't know why people would take that one personal. I but really... it's been a, it's been a massive debate. So I, I always like to bring it up. And no, ask no, what no. I've about heard it. about it. I've heard mm. about it. I've heard about it. Um, I just think that's. I just think that's very small. Like that's mm. just nothing. I feel like mm. we shouldn't even go into. But but that's. But it's a thing. It's mm, a thing. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. And it's a I thing. think it's just a, it's a, like obviously. I'm from back in the day, UK garage days and stuff like that, where hierarchy on a flyer was a thing. You know what I mean? EZ would be at the top. If you go festival, if you see a festival lineup, festival lineup is hierarchy, you know? We yeah. all not, oh, come on. I didn't think about that. I come didn't think about that. I, I, that's that, that my proper flyers, yeah. Proper events. Yeah, cool. Proper festivals when you got like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thousands, yeah. Oh, so you, Their names are big. The big ones, you get me? Oh, yeah, Skepta. yeah, yeah. No, you talk about, yeah, 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 of course. That's the hierarchy. And you got the little man, them, the. Yeah, me. The little the baby ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is that the is... hierarchy of it. So there is. A... I thought that is just head, just headline. But I get what you're saying. Now you look. Not at... everyone on the flyer is a headliner. Now you're gonna make me look at it like that now. But that's how. But that's good. That's how when I grew up, it was locked up. It was like you look at it, and you look all the way down, and yo, oh, my man's with them days. Yo, he's, he's climbing, he's climbing. You get me? It'd be like that. But now you look at it, and like sometimes I will see Jada's name down the bottom, or I look at the time sets. And she got first set. I'm like, nah, man, that's disrespect, but man. You start, some, but you start everywhere, though. Wire, you start man. everywhere, though, um, Dubs. Nah. You start everywhere. There's a 10, 11, 11, 12. You start, you got to you gotta start somewhere. Now. But you're saying now she shouldn't be doing that, basically. Um, no, I'm talking now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she put it in for so long. Yeah, of course. Yeah, me. So, yeah. I, I, I've never really got it. I've never really got it. Yeah, and that festival in the studio, I just, just thought it was just a headliner thing. It's just the bait ones mm. just there, basically. Mm. I would just, that's how I looked at it. Mm. It's just the bait ones at the top. Yeah. Then it's just a... Whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I've just, I've never understood it. Like, <laughs> uh, like no, but you know, what? I've heard a couple of people complain about that. I've seen stuff mm. change. I've seen flyers change though. Yeah, like it's been like that, and all of a sudden it's mm. just changed around. And it's yeah. not even like they've changed the flyer and added DJs. It's just, mm. just changed the thing. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm thinking, oh, but I just don't even. Mm. That's definitely shit though. That don't make no sense though. Mm. I don't There's know, a lot, man. but that's a, that's just that's just that's just. But as in, okay, I think there's so much other hierarchy behavior which mm. is happening anyway. Yeah. Because I feel like some people take other people flight flight of bookings. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes I might, I might, I reckon you could, if you're a promoter and you're calling me and you're like, yeah, I got a rave on this date, who's on the lineup? I reckon some DJs are saying to the promoter, who's on the lineup? Mm. And mm. they're saying, this is, they're like, nah, I'm not doing it. Mm. I'm not doing it. I feel like even that's a bit shit as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. But now nah, I just feel like, Ever since I first got into this thing, it's always been like Mark and Lance has been at the top of the, the thing. Uh, you've had like B3 there yeah, and, B, and all that yeah, type of stuff. Yeah. And like respect to those guys because they put it in and they're massive DJs and they've smashed it. But as time goes along, along and things evolve, we need to see those ones who have put in the work and they've stepped up. You understand me? So they need to be appreciated. And that's just... That's just the way That's I the way see. You look at it. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of yeah, yeah. I'd love to see like Jada at the top of a flyer. You know what I mean? She's it's crazy what she's done, man. Yeah, in a short time, was it three years? Mm, yeah, 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 three years. Maybe she needs some more years under her belt. Then I don't know. Because yeah, yeah, Mark and years. Lance have put in put in the work for a very long time. <laughs> Probably the same time as you. What, 20 yeah, years? yeah, same time yeah, as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same time, yeah. yeah so yeah. Mark's still going, fuck it out, mate. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> it's still but you know what it is? I'm going to be honest here. Yeah, if we look at bookings and how many bookings you're getting, in, it shouldn't really matter where you live in the country because it should be known UK-wide. Like, I've still been like one of the top booked people, but you'd never see me there. Like, You'd never see me up there. Like, yeah. Mm, you never see me Why do you think no? I don't know. I don't know. Not really bothered, to be honest. Yeah. It's just been... Something that people have always bought up, and it's like, wow, why? The way that's the question. Oh, what? Why are you in like proper headlining? And I'm like, I don't know. yeah, I think I, I, I believe in, I believe in 
You see that mean Pro- promo is promo, isn't it? It's mm, there. Yeah. Everyone's seeing your name. That's yeah, how yeah, front of, yeah, front of me on the flyer you're getting promoted and you promote you promote the flyer to you, to everyone else. It's about what you do in the event. It's not really about what's on the flyer. You can be at the top of the flyer and play the worst set. Mm, you know 100%. what I mean? I mean? That's embarrassing then. You know what I mean? I'd rather 100%. be near the bottom and smash it. <laughs> I no, I've been to I've been to a couple I've been to you a couple raids and certain liners or whatever they want to call themselves, yeah. mate, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think that so. even one thing I do realise though, I think some people who get that headlining mentality, I think they get too comfy and they just start getting mm. shit. Yeah. Because I've, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's mm. easy. Yeah. It's easy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, you know how it goes though, man. You just got to keep going. Mm. Everyone's got their own philosophy. Every has got their own philosophy. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's definitely. got their own style of how they want to do things. So definitely. Definitely. Sometimes you just gotta leave them to it, man. Mm. Once my transfer, the money's coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when that piece is coming me, through, then. As long as the piece is coming through. You know what I mean? Um, have you had any issues like that before, like not getting paid? Not because of because of them doing a fast one, not because of they don't respect the thing or anything. Like, nah, has any like really. promoter disappeared um, before? Like, no, nah, I've, nah. I've had to chase. Yeah, I think that's normal though. Well, I think everyone chases everything. Well, anyway. not, not house music. That's like, okay, okay. That's, that's been like a baseline. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Not house, like house, I've been really lucky. But I think it's because I kind of stick to the people that I know. So the people who book me regularly, I, I, don't, I don't need a deposit. You yeah, you've been dealing with them. Yeah, yeah. You, you deal with me when you deal with me. I don't even have to, the money's not in tomorrow or, or the same day. I'm not bothered because I know it's coming. But like with everyone else who books me and I don't really know them, there's a deposit anyway. So if you're going to mess me about, you've, I've already got a deposit. I just won't leave my house. Yeah, of course. You've yeah. just got a deposit in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. My house. Is that usually just half them. of whatever it is usually or just... Yeah, well, I don't really go with half. It's just like yeah, just 30%. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah. that's it. You know what I mean? That's fine. You have to pay a travel cost and 30%. So if I do leave my house and I get there, then you want to mess about, then at least my, my petrol's been covered and... I just take one of the decks. How <laughs> you saying? Yeah, yeah, simple, yeah, yeah, bro. yeah simple it's, shit. It's one of the decks will just come home with me. And simple till, shit. Till the, simple shit. But it's been paid. And simple then, shit. Obviously, we can send it back or the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just send it back, innit? Come connect to it or whatever. Mm. <laughs> the, rave, the rave will be just quiet. Put it that way. I'll plug out everything. I'll take the extension lead. I'll do whatever. I got yeah, to no do. facts, 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 facts. You can't mess people about like that, man. Yeah, people man, come I from far. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff. The livelihood like at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm a calm money. guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm, yeah, no, of course, man. Yeah, it's humble, man. But at the same time, people are going to mess you about. Then, you know what I mean? Yeah. I heard too much. Trust me, man. I had so much story. You know, you know that like, I speak to so many DJs. I have bad stories, promoters. I just think, fuck, <laughs> you know, this is what's happening. But ravers would not know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You just come there, you're. Come for the music, mm. you don't even have you a You don't know what's clue. going on in the background. Yeah, definitely. And I was one of them guys mm. until like I've transferred over and I think, fuck, is mm. this what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just a good thing to stay over there and they don't want to know. You know what I mean? <laughs> you might even think, fuck this music. Not like that, but you know what yeah. I mean? Like mm. sometimes I even think, oh, like, but I don't even want to think like that. Yeah. But it's because now I know what's really, really happening. Mm. Like I just think, all oh, right, that's not fair. Yeah. Or like, that's yeah. not cool. Or, Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you play good music, but that's not cool, bro. Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, which is a bit shit. Mm. But music is music, isn't it? Any day, that's it what I come cool. for. It I want to cool. hear your sounds. I don't want to hear you be- talking bad. Just play your sounds. <laughs> Forget the madness behind the closed yeah. doors. Just come and play your mm. sounds and play the music. Do you yeah. know? Because people come to listen to you, innit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like definitely. music is therapy. Some mm. people you don't know what you do to their lives, you know. I know, I know. Trust people me. Have said that. People have said that a lot of times. You yeah. don't know what you do to their life, mm. man. Because some people, sometimes when you're at home, it's a, it's a mood swing frequencies. You know what I mean? It's a mood swing. Mm. Right? You could be chilling. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. That's what I just want everyone. That's why I would love everyone mm. to unite and just play some music, man. Yeah. Everyone just get me. Mm. Play some music, man. That's all. That's how I wish it could come out of all of this, man. Before you hang up your boots. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? I'll think about it. Before right. you hang up your boots, you need to get everyone together, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always said I think you should do an interview, yeah, with... Just together. everyone, or just everyone like, and you what, just say what you say, just say whatever. <laughs> Do you reckon, but it's what I'm saying, yeah. You see, a lot of people would they, a lot of them were like, yeah, they'll talk to me, but when I, when they just, they just say it, man. I reckon nah. when there's cameras you know, and that involved, you know what it is yeah, with me? Me. I just, I, I say whatever, but I never say anything with any bad heart or anything. Yeah, I course. say things as jokes, and if it, a lot of people know me, I know I love to joke yeah, about yeah, bands. You get me? And like, well, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody in the scene. If I'm honest, everyone's been all right. A yeah, couple yeah. disagreements with people, but that's it's normal, never though. been. Yeah, it's just normal. That's part of life. Yeah, you know what normal. I mean? And have disagreements with people in my day job, and yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's normal. And we sort it out. Yeah, yeah you yeah, get on normal. with it. Yeah, yeah. Of so, yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't 
So I've got a bad word to say about no one really, you know what I mean? That would, like, be, that would definitely be good though if I could just get everyone from every little thingy in one yeah, and just yeah, kind of yeah, just yeah, definitely. have a conversation. Some of the older heads and, and go through, it'd be nice to have like S there, because you know what S is going to yeah. say, whatever. Radford there, Lance, Shenin. You, can, yeah, you can't forget yeah, Shenin, yeah, you get yeah, me, man, like yeah. AR and all them, like, all you know what I mean? Because we, we were there, like, foundation from from the beginning. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm trying to tell them. Look, bro, like, that needs to happen so they could see, like, yeah. You know what I mean? How we, yeah. how you guys pushed it and like, mm-hmm. but don't know, man. I think it's even just egos. It's just it's a lot. It's just a lot of stuff going on, man. At the minute, I know they're busy. You get me. And yo, it's to have to have Stephen here as well, match. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean, like, their journey, like. Yeah, they they really built cool. it up as well. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. And you know what it is as well as as like um, black promoters, that's role models right there. You know what I mean? Hundred like, percent. Never bro. speak to Stephen like the way he conducts himself. Always conducts himself with manners and respect. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that others don't. We're just because we're speaking on Stephen and Magic at the moment, but for me, that right there, man, that's, that's enough for me. Yeah, that's young black uh, role models, you know what I mean, making decent legal Moves. money. I mean, man, that's good to see. So we need to see more of that. You know there's mean? a lot. Of, there's a lot of money raised, though, isn't it? I didn't even know that. There is on their side, not on my side. <laughs> <laughs> the money, the money there's there, a lot of money raised, nice. bro. Mm-hmm. Did you know what it is? I don't even know how it works. You see, like, um, so you see, like, if I sell like. Tickets on like resident advisor or whatever, whatever. Mm. Can I just get the money out or do I need to register as a business or anything? How does that work? I don't run rave, so mm. I wouldn't have a clue. Okay, but I'm just imagining cool. the money just comes to you, you get me? Mm, no, so yeah. you just do what you're doing with it after you paid it. But like S was saying on his last interview, it's, it's the venues that he's using are very, very expensive. You know what I mean? Like, I think it was uh, the tunnels. Oh, the tunnels, yeah, you're yeah, saying the madness, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. was saying the madness when you're saying the <laughs> price. I was like, what? Madness, what? What? But that's mad. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, that didn't even register to now, you know, mm, properly. Mm. But sometimes... Is it like that or for real though? Some, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But what, sometimes when I'm thinking what people pay per ticket and then what I charge, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? I can't how many people. <laughs> yeah. It is up to my wage. I'm like, yo, I'm so sure more than that amount of people is coming to see me than yeah. get me. So... But think about it though. You must be making some mad money. Yeah, of course. Because mm. you've got the three stages to 10, 11 pounds. Yeah. When it starts getting to the 15s <laughs> and the 20s and the 25s, yeah. you're yeah. eating. Like Sidewinder, 40, 50 pound. Yeah, it's 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like 50, yeah. 50, 50 pound, pound, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. You get me? And some man are only charging like 300 pounds. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You get a couple people through yeah, the door. Shocking. That's his wage already. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's, what is it? Birmingham this year as well, isn't it? That's so usually yeah, Manny. Birmingham this one. It's usually yeah. Manny though, isn't it? Yeah, it's usually Manny. This yeah. one's Birmingham because it's uh, like a baseline one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, based on the old school garage, all that type of stuff. Where is it? That Beck Arena, whatever it's called. Where is it? Is it Becker PC Arena, whatever that thing's called? Oh, know, <laughs> yeah, 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 bro, yeah, I'm, the yeah. Wor- I'm the worst for the venues. Yeah, yeah, my cool. girls always reminding me where e- where every venue is. No, I always wanted to go Sidewind, you know. Everyone just bottles down, it, man. Yeah, the Sidewind's gonna be, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always sick. It's like it's never been a letdown, man. It's always what's that? Um, been next what's level. Other festival, Haze. Is it Haze? Is it called Haze Festival in Birmingham? Have you heard of Haze Festival? Yeah, before? the Haze. Yeah. Is that? Have you been? Have you been before? Never been. Nah. You know what? I'm not a man who goes out. Like I'm not. If I'm not booked, I'm 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 not out. You know what I mean? It's like if I stop in my yard or. We go restaurant or yeah yeah no of course go obviously pub. you got your own you setup you get me so like, anytime I go out I feel awkward I feel like I should be behind the deck oh you get <laughs> that feeling the, yeah 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 I'm like just standing there and just looking at everyone everyone's drunk and everything because I hardly drink to be honest and I'm just there thinking I just want to go to my yard you say you get that <laughs> feeling oh yeah I didn't really think about it as a DJ mm. so when you're out sometimes you think no oh, I just want to go play and just yeah, play yeah I just want to play and I'm just like let's listen to their like because if we do if we do go out we don't go house places we go like to R and B and all that type of stuff. So I'm just sitting there listening to like some old school R&B. It's nice, but at the same time, I'm just thinking, yo, I'd love yeah, to just nah, jump on Just jump on quickly and yeah, just do the thing. Drop one and two mixes. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so what advice have you got for like up and coming DJs? What would you, uh, yeah. like what? Consistency, um, motivation, resilience. Resilience, um, I like that one. Be, be business minded. Be humble at the same time, but at the same time, don't be silent. I think people think being humble means you don't say anything. Yeah. Learn yeah. how to articulate yourself in the correct way. Um, because the way you behave sometimes can put people off. They can take you in the wrong in the wrong light when you're not really like that. So it has to be consistency as well. Consistency is key. You know what I mean? Staying motivated, like constantly putting your content out there. Even if you're only getting one or two likes, it's that those likes yeah. are going to go up. Likes <laughs> mean absolutely nothing. nothing. You know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. Don't nothing. Keep, don't chase the clout. 
the likes and nothing. Recent gratification That's what people get it wrong as well. Because he's still getting mm. seen. He's mm. still getting seen. Still getting seen. Still getting seen. Still getting seen. People still looking at your page. Still like, getting seen. You know what I mean? So yeah, just just really keep keep going and make sure you got something special about you, something different. Don't come in with the same old thing, doing the same mixes as someone else or playing the same set. Do something different. Don't be scared to put something new in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, that's when people will clock onto you. And I think that's what it is with me because like, when I'm playing my sets, people know they're going to hear one and two mad tunes that are different to everyone else. And it's got like that midland sound. I'm not always going to be playing that deep tech sound because that's not me. There's no sense in me driving all the way down to play yeah, what someone play, else can yeah, play. That's yeah, a waste of time. Of course. A waste of the promoter's time. time as well. So. I need to come down and play some of that mad building sound that nobody else ain't got. And it's me, one who's got it. And that's why I think promoters really get value for money if they book me. Because I'm bringing something to the table that no one so else can. So you know what you bring to the table? No one else know. can bring. Yeah, no one else can possibly bring that. So I respect it, man. I respect yeah. you must have, this is, You've mastered your craft. Mm. <laughs> but the only thing I can say is you're always still learning, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon. Always still learning. Always still learning. And um, yeah, that's why I'm learning that. I'm gonna just sit down soon. <laughs> yeah, you say you just, just sit leave down. It, just leave it to the youngest. You get me. Hang up your beats. It's produced though, though. At yeah. least, bro, going the rails. I feel old. You get me. I feel like I'm back at work. You get me. I feel like I'm looking at the youths and it's like they're telling me. Looks like an under 18s. You're telling me. You're telling me. Like, you're telling me. These are like, nah. I still produce. I reckon you should just bang. Well, if that's the case, I think you should just pump the producing them because at least you could do that indoors. But yeah, I prefer In- DJing to uh, oh, yeah, producing. Of course. Yeah. Of course. yeah. Actually, I find actually find producing boring. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I never, I never yeah. tried that. Ever. Yeah, I, I think if I produce, I'll probably go back to doing um like bass. Oh, bass line. Yeah, I think that's not, not bass line, just bass. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, bass and garage music. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Slightly different, but oh, okay, virtually okay, sounds okay, the same, okay. but it's slightly different. But I probably go to doing that um just as a new challenge because I feel like I've taken my sound as far as I can take it. Okay. So for me, it's like that new challenge. You're doing something fresh. So I'll probably continue to DJ um, and just pick up something else. Because I was saying to someone the other day that because so many people now are doing that type of sound that I started, I don't really need to make as much as I used to make. I can just just explore and play their sounds. You know what I mean? It's really refreshing to do it because they're doing it on a level that's higher than where I was. You get me? I'm hearing more within their sounds and I'm appreciating what they're doing. So... Just rather just play their tracks. Yeah, and just, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. no, I respect that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, look, thanks for coming down. Thank you, bro. Finally, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hopefully this is this is, this is first of many things we could try and, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, chop up, because obviously yeah. I still need yeah. to come up there anyway. Yeah. So if I could kind of just like get everyone Shout me when you're room. ready, man. I think I think the I think the Brom heads will, will come together. Really. Nah, they're on it. They're on it. Just a couple of frustrated me. ones though. They're on it though. Yeah. They're on it. They're on it. Yeah, I spoke man. to quite a few of them. They're on it. Mm. Do it'd be nice. I mean? It'd be nice to see them and see why they're frustrated. Yeah. And <laughs> Do sit I mean? down and talk to them. Yeah. 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 Like, well, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Mental them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think. Um, yeah. 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 Because I need to. I need to chop up a couple of things up there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean. So if we could try and pull something off like that. Yeah. That would be great. Do you know what I mean? Obviously yourself. Same names I've mentioned before and yeah. whatever, whatever. I think that would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be unique. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, blessings for coming down, bro. Thank you, bro. And yeah, man, catch up soon. Yeah, man. Yeah, nice bless, bro. Bless, bless, bless. Ah, bless.